How do electricity is not so bad? Um, what one's our course was the uh, didn't I give it to you last week on Wednesday? Yeah, but one and I said two weeks. Yeah. So you have one more week. Was it this week? Yeah, like one week on Wednesday. Oh so oh like I gave it to you last week, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, on Wednesday, and it's two weeks yeah. in yeah. total. So it's not this Wednesday. It's no, not that's Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, potential divider. Please write this down. You don't want to sit beside them? No, I want to sit beside you. But what about these guys? But I want to sit beside you. But look at them. They miss you. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just play... What is that called? Dot and the yeah. Dot and the yeah. <laughs> what, what is this? Good time. Dot. Dot. Yeah. And and yeah. yeah. That's all they're good for, is it? Is that what you're saying? They're only good for darts. No, I play with them. Yeah. Now She's fed up. Oh, yeah, I see. I understand. You're tired of being near <laughs> them because you <laughs> play darts with them. Ah, no, I think that's what it sounds like you're saying. <laughs> I think uh, that's how that's how you feel, isn't it? Yeah. No. Look at them. They lie. Uh, they would never lie. Look how innocent they look. <laughs> <laughs> right. Potential divider. Did you write that down? Yep. Uh, okay. Uh, so not a lot in this lesson. Um, we're going to have a look at a very special circuit. Uh, this circuit here. So I'll explain why this is important and special now if you can write it down. And the circuit has two resistors. Most important to note is that we can change one of the resistors here, or one is a variable. And we have two voltages. One voltage here provided by the... Um, uh, so, and a second voltage here we measure across the uh, second resistor here, or two. Okay, so please draw this uh, circuit and write everything down from it. So what's going to be in the exam? Oh uh, yeah, everything. Like no, I was planning on giving you some topics from well semester like two I as well. Uh, like if someone's the one before they stop. You will not. <laughs> uh, uh, Yusuf, we'll be doing well if we finish semester one before <laughs> the semester one exam, okay? <laughs> We're not going to move into semester two before the exam. As nice as that would be, it's not going to happen. Okay, have you drawn this? Right. Can I continue? So by using the loop rule, what formula can we make? Let's start here, and let's call this uh, Vn. So Vn minus uh, uh, I or 1 minus uh, I or 2. But we actually know what the voltage is here. We're calling it V out. So you can say Vn minus I or 1 minus I or 2 equals 0, but... Uh, you can know um, the I, well, we'll get to that in a moment. We can get the I from this formula by rearranging, so we have this. Okay. Now, you know though, as I was saying, we know that V out equals I or 2. We know this one. So what we can say is V out equals I or 2, and we can replace the I from what we found in the loop rule. So we can make this formula for V out. I'll write it down, it'll be easier, I think. So, um, are we happy with me saying Vn <coughs> minus I or 1 minus I or 2 equals 0? Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. So, that means Vn equals I or 1 plus I or 2. Vn equals I or 1 plus or 2. Yeah. So I equals uh, Vn over R1 plus R2. We're happy with that. Now, using our triangle VIR, what does I uh, equal? V over R. Sorry, I meant to say, what does V equal? I know. Uh, so V out equals I or 
2 because uh, it's not the R2. Mm -hmm. But we know the I. So this equals Vn times R2 over R1 plus R2. Or, as I wrote it on the screen, V out equals R2 over R1 plus R2 V in. This is the result I was trying to get to uh, here. So, maybe you want to write this one down. Yeah? Uh, at V out, I... This is the loop rule. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to there. And, and this is the V I or triangle. Then how does that transform into that? Into this? Yeah. Because I know what the I is. Oh, okay. Yeah? So then. So this is my result. So you can cancel our two counts here? No. Only if this was multiplied, not when it's added. Oh. Give me. I'm not finished speaking about it yet. I have to wait for these slow pokes to write it down. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I we'll be wait. We'll wait because they want to hear too. Yeah. Be fair to them. They can't all be as smart as you. Okay. 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 If you say so. You wrote this down? You wrote this down? Yeah. Continue. Yes? One, ready? So, why is this formula important? Why is this interesting to us? Well, if we go back here. Uh, continue. Yeah. In this circuit, there's only one thing we can control. The R1. Yes? But by changing the R1, we could change this fraction. By changing this fraction, we can change this value. And by changing this value, we can change the output. In other words, we've made a circuit where we can slide this up and down to cause different output voltages. So what you could do here is uh, increase or decrease the voltage. Now, this circuit here, Let's look at what happens to this formula in some extreme examples. So let's imagine the R1 is zero. What happens if the R1 is zero? If R1 is zero, then what will the output voltage equal? In. As I increase the R1 to a really big number, imagine this is a huge number, a million. A small number over a really big number, what would that be? Big or small? Small. small? So, as we increase it to a huge number, we can make the output voltage equal to zero. zero. No, because it will be zero times this. In other words, what this circuit lets us do is decrease the voltage to a value we want. Why is this important? Often, the voltage we get in our homes is too high for the things we need. Example, this I believe only requires something like 12 volts or something like this. Uh, this is something. This is 19.5 volts. So this is 20 volts. But the wall is 220. So it's 11 times too big. So we could use a circuit like the potential divider to reduce the voltage down. So maybe the input is 220, but the output is only 20. Yeah. So this here, this box here, 
it's like uh, there's like a potential divider inside it which reduces the voltage. Now, why do you think you need to have the option to change it? Well, if I was in your country, maybe it's 110, not 220. So it's important to have the option to change the resistance so you can adjust for whatever situation you're in to reduce the voltage. We only have a problem if the voltage is too small because the potential divider can't increase the voltage. It can only decrease the voltage. But if this only needs 20, then we should always have at least 20 at the wall. Probably at least 100, I think. I can't think of any country that would be less than 100. So if, if, if this was 220 and that only used up 20, yeah. and in another country it was 100, would it still get the 20 out of the 100? Yeah, it yeah, it would. Now it get the 20 out, because it can adjust as required. Uh, the box says it can take 110 or 220, so it can be adjusted for both automatically. Anyway, this is the potential divider circuit, an important but a simple circuit. The potential divider allows for an input voltage to be reduced, keyword being reduced. The output voltage can be found by the formula which we've just worked out. And I don't think this is, no, this is in the formula book, but I don't think they tell you what R1, R2, V in and V out mean. So uh, please write it down carefully. Tired, Faisal? Mm -hmm. Time for your 3.30 nap? Mm -hmm. Use up all your energy? Ah, yes. Okay, continue. Uh, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Go on. I'll give you five seconds. No, don't waste your time talking. Uh, okay. Here's an example. Um, a circuit requires only 11 volts. However, the mains provide 220 volts. You have two resistors, 10 milliohms and X milliohms. And of course, the X is the one that you can change. Uh, draw the potential divider. Okay, so let's just do that first together. Right. So, uh, what's the voltage coming into the house? The uh, V in. It's 220 volts. And then this here is X milli ohms. And this one here is uh, 10 milli ohms, was it? Thank you. And what voltage do I want here? I want 11 volts. That's the circuit. Part A is done. Okay, part B is find the X. Again, just use our formula. Uh, so our formula is V out. What's V out here? V out. 11. Equals R2. What's R2? 10. Yeah, now we actually, it doesn't matter about the milli because milli will be in everything, so it just cancels. 10 over 10 plus x times v in 220. So that will be 11 equals 2200 over 10 plus x. So that will be 11 times 10 plus x equals 2200. So that means 110 plus 11x equals 2200. 11x equals 2090. So x is 2090 over 11, which is 190. 
190 exact. Yeah. So this, uh, sorry, this one here we've just worked it out is 190 mm. milli ohms. No. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what the right answer is because I made up this question. When you mine. Let me think. Let me think. Um. Is it right? Um, is it milliohms or is it ohms? Okay. Um, C. What is the current coming out of the divider? So the next part is what's the current here? Okay. So if we use my VI, uh, not my, uh, the VIR triangle, what's I here? Yeah, B over R. Right. So what's that? One. A big number because this is uh, so small. So it is 1.1 kiliamps. My goodness. Don't touch it. Right. Um, what's next now? D. Finally, a 2 ohms resistor is connected to the output. What's the voltage here? So for the last part, you actually connect something to the circuit. You connect 2 ohms. So if you look here, see this? This is like the potential divider. But the reason we care about this is because we can connect things to it, like my laptop. So this is like the X and the 10, and then this is like the 2 that you connect. Do you understand? Now, what would be the voltage in the 2? You might think it would be 11, because you just worked it out as 11, but why is it not 11? Well, yeah? Kind of, and kind of, yeah, kind of. Go on, tell me more. No, more than parallel. A sentence would be great. Can I get a sentence with a verb? One over. Yeah. Yes, but why? Why are you giving me this formula? Why are you saying it's parallel? Why did we care about that? Well, because in the formula you need R2, and R2 is no longer 10. It's now going to be both of these, which is the formula as you were saying. So we have to do now in part D, 1 over R equals 1 over 2 plus 1 over 0 0.01. So R2 is now something different. It is... I made a mistake. Um, I can do this, believe in me. 100.5%. Oh, sorry, of course it is right. It's right. It's, right. it's um, let's put it in milli. It is 9.95 milli ohms. Why, why is your calculator be like that? Oh, it's a special calculator for a special person. Right, a milli ohms. So if I use the formula again, uh, I'll do it here. Uh, what is it? The output voltage equals yeah, uh, 9.95 over 9.95 plus x, which we worked out as 190 times. <coughs> right. Okay. 9.95 over 
9.95 plus 190 times 220 and you get 10.95 which is nearly the same but not but that's the great thing about the potential divider even though you don't know what's connected to it you can still set it for the voltage you would like and you would get roughly the right voltage why does that happen why does it seem like it doesn't matter so much about the external load why was the two not important yeah. yeah but more than just they're in parallel it's because the two is so big compared to this resistor that in the formula one over two is so small compared to this meaning only this one has an effect in the total and this one has not much of an effect so as long as these resistors are quite small and the external is quite large you can set the potential divider to give you the voltage you need even though you might not know what will be connected to it again it's just another reason why this is a useful important and simple circuit so if I connect this to something which has 20 ohms resistance I know I will get roughly 11 volts but I won't get exactly 11 but uh, close enough okay continue and that's it so I would like you to do something or do I well that's what I'm thinking because this will take too long to finish now I mean it's only one question it's one but it's one big question so I think this would be much better done at home so we can start the new chapter waves and we can look at the answer here in the next okay. class then waves is so easy your brain mm -hmm. will feel it waves well the English yeah. the English can yeah. be a bit hard what? I feel like really hard it's really hard yeah, I feel like it's what it feels like but it's not